What was your experience in making the video in regards to your vision for your part and the overall film? Can you reflect on your efforts in meshing your individual vision on Revolution with the video as a whole? Uh, for my part of the video, after I conceptualized my main idea, I had to face the challenges of the availability and accessibility of relevant material. And in my case, uh, like in the overall process, I learned that uh, being away from my home country, in other words, being an international student, contacting and accessing organizations and following up with them uh, to acquire material was a challenge. And, uh, that was, and, and that was mainly because of their unresponsive feedback. And also there was another factor that it was time taking. So considering time limitations on my project, I had to turn my attention to the sources that allow uh, to use and reproduce images and photos um, under the Creative Commons license, such as Flickr. Uh, but there again, I had to face the lack of usable images. By usable images, I mean uh, the images that I think were pertinent to the main idea of my project. So experiencing troubles in my research, uh, I learned that most images that I found pertinent to my topic uh, were actually owned by some multinational stock photo agencies that had copyright restrictions on them. And most of those images were quite expensive. So the policies of these companies actually uh, kind of uh, tend to hinder the process of creativity by increasing the cost of access on copyrighted material. So this, this made me turn my attention to, to make my own image and develop my own video. So uh, since for my project, uh, I wanted to show that how uh, the, the initial vision of Pakistan was different from the current situation, I, I decided to work on a symbolic idea. So in, in, in that symbolic message, I, I wanted to show that how by disrespecting minorities and uh, weak people's rights, we are kind of uh, defying Pakistan's real ideology. Since this ideology is embodied in Pakistan's flag, where uh, the green color represents the Muslim majority and the white color represents for people from other religious minorities. So I, d I decided to work on Pakistan's flag uh, to show that how the current situation by jeopardizing weak people's rights kind of tarnishes Pakistan's ideology. Uh, so for this reason, I made a drawing of Pakistan's flag and used it for my video. So uh, in order to show the effects of parochial religious approaches, most of which are based on bigotry, I placed my drawing under a, under a rectangular uh, uh, clear glass tray filled up with plain water. So the water in the tray had the reflection of the flag that was placed underneath it. Uh, to show how rigidity, uh, sectarianism, uh, conservatism and intolerance are affecting Pakistan, I dripped small drops of different colors in plain water. Uh, so, uh, uh, and the drops dripped in, in clear water one by one slowly and they created different streaks of colors. Uh, each drop uh, symbolized a significant problem that Pakistan is uh, suffering from. So each drop with its distinct color would disfigure the flag, hence, hence spoiling the overall image. Ultimately, uh, the water uh, in the tray wasn't reflecting the flag anymore. Uh, the, reflection was, uh, uh, the, the reflection was stained, uh, blemished, and uh, 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 it was marred, just like the country's vision. So, um, uh, well, in, in this whole process, I filmed uh, I filmed the process of dripping of colored drops. I filmed uh, the process of the change of uh, water's color in the tray. So now I had my own film to use without worrying about the, uh, the, the problems of copyrights and, and ownership and, and uh, authorship.